Arcturus is the fourth brightest star in the night sky and it's a red giant star only 37 light years away. It's in the constellation of Boethus. So here's everything you need to know about the Arcturus, the Beer Guardian. Enjoy. Arcturus, just like many other stars in the night sky, its name is derived from the ancient Greek with the word Arcturus, where Arctos means a beer and Aurus is a watcher. So the whole thing comes out as a beer watcher. Now the word Arctic is also derived from the Arctos, which is the beer. The star lies in the constellation of Boethus, the herdsman, which is most commonly used to represent Arcus, the son of Zeus and Callisto. And Boethus was first catalogued by the Greek astronomer Ptolemy in the second century. And it also contains a large asterism, the kite, which dominates the whole constellation and the Arcturus is its brightest star. On mythology, it is related to Arcus, who was the son of Zeus and Callisto, and Hera, the wife of Zeus, having to come to know about Callisto, transformed Callisto into a beer. She then roamed the woods until many many years, until later when she met her son Arcus in the woods, which obviously he didn't recognize her, and he began to chase her. Callisto hid herself in the temple where her son could not attack her because he didn't want to get sentenced to death for defining a sacred place. So to keep things normal, Zeus placed both of them in the sky with Callisto as the Ursa Major and Arcus as the Bautis. Thankfully, Arcturus is not that hard to find in the night sky. Now there is a famous phrase for it, follow the Arc to the Arcturus. Now, this phrase basically means that you need to first locate the Big Dipper in the night sky which is often not that hard to spot and after locating it you just need to follow its arc. Then you will come across the kite in the night sky which is our Arbotus and then you have the Arcturus, its brightest star. So its coordinates are right ascension 14 hours 15 minutes and 40 seconds and declination of about plus 19 degrees, 10 minutes and 56 seconds. Arcturus is also an evolved red giant star with its stellar classification as K03. The mass of Arcturus cannot be directly observed because it is a single star, but models suggest that its mass is a little bit more than our sun, about 1.2 to 1.5 and not. And because it is a red giant star, it has seized the fusion of hydrogen in its core. Now because of its proximity to Earth, it also has a high proper motion and it's not that hard to observe. It's about 2 arc seconds a year. It also moves at a speed of about 120 km per second related to the Sun. However, that's not everything about Arcturus. There is an interesting story behind the star which made it famous in the 1933 which is the Chicago World Fair. On 27 May 1933, Arcturus flag was actually used to turn on the floodlight of the Chicago World Fair using the photosets. The reason why they chose Arcturus was that the previous World Fair in the city held in the year 1893, exactly 40 years before. So at that time, Arcturus was thought to be just 40 light years away. So the idea was that the light used to turn on the floodlights of the 1930s Chicago World Fair actually left Arcturus when the 1893 World Fair was still happening. So it was a cool idea, but later calculations found out that the star is actually 37 light years away and not 40 light years. So the light which used to turn on the floodlights was actually from 1896. But 3 years is not a big deal. <laughs> but Arcturus is moving and its distance will vary in the future. Currently, it's under its closest approach to the Earth, so in the 4000 years, it will reach its closest point and then it will continue its journey going further and further away, continuing towards the Virgo, increasing its distance further. So, hope you guys like the video, smash like, hit subscribe and uh, comment down below which star do you want to know about. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.